Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on uh, something that I was inspired by in the Success Principles by Jack Canfield. Um, shoot, I just lost my page when I showed you that. Um, and the topic is going to be Complete the Past to Embrace the Future. That's the title of the chapter on page 214. Now we all, we all have things um, that we wish we could go back and fix. We have bad blood with people. Um, you know, some things we may want to say sorry for, but we haven't done it. Uh, that we that we wish we could just go back and and fix. But these things, um, these things, they may not be things that you think about all the time, but they're definitely up in your mind and in your subconscious. And um, you know, I've talked about the subconscious before, but basically. Whatever is in your subconscious becomes your conscious. Whatever becomes conscious becomes you and your world and what you make of it. So these things, especially if you, if you want to move on in your life to bigger and better things, you need to get rid of these little nuisances because your subconscious needs to be geared and set towards what you want to do to be successful, whatever it is. Um, so in, in his book, he says there, the, he, he lists off some things here. But um, these are just some of the feelings that, that we can feel that for a lot of us sit, sit within us and um, that we should really try to resolve so we can move on and improve ourselves. Um, so the first one is anger and resentment. Anger and resentment are things um, that we can possess all the time or just possess at, other t at, at certain periods of time. But you know, this could be in a relationship, this could be with a teacher, this could be with a parent. You could be angry for a number of things, okay? But um, one thing you can do if it's if it's in the present and you're angry, one thing you can do is just go up to this person because a lot of the times when you have these emotions and you don't tell anybody, they don't know. They really don't know. Um, so the best thing you can do is be like, look, I was angry when, or I'm I am I'm angry that you did this. Just tell them. Be honest, and um, and then from that step, you just you want you want to you know you've acknowledged your anger but now you you have to forgive them forgiving is not easy we know that but but now that you've acknowledged it that's helped you've told them now it's their job uh to deal with it whatever they want to deal with it but then you have to forgive them okay and there's a number of ways you can do that but that's for another video all right number two is when you feel hurt you can go to someone and say look it hurt me when it, it hurt me when you did this or um, I, I wish you wouldn't do this because this is how I feel it doesn't make me feel right okay number three you could feel fear it's in the top of your head you're you're nagging you're in a relationship you, you, there's something not right and you constantly fear it okay you can go to your girlfriend or your, or your husband, wife, or friend, mother, father, say, look, this has been nagging me. I, I'm, I'm really scared and I might just sound, sound stupid. I might sound uh, a little paranoid, but this is how I feel. I'm a little scared. And just by expressing that and acknowledging it, that's going to help you a ton and that's going to get it out of your head. Or it's going to allow you to move closer to solving that problem and again making it better going by you now number four remorse regret and accountability so if if you're if there's something that you did and you feel bad about it um, just go to that person look I'm sorry I I didn't mean it you know go up to them I didn't mean it I'm really sorry for this really sorry for that that alone, right there, is going to make you feel a world better. There is nothing more you can do, and unless there is some way that you can, you know, hey, I'm sorry I stole ten thousand dollars from you, you know, maybe you could pay a little bit of it back. But most things you, when, that you can't do, you can't actually do something. All you can do is say sorry and look sorry. I I really feel bad, and and be genuine about it, okay? Five wants. We all want things in life, but if we don't tell people or if we don't show that we want these things, we don't say we want these things, we're not going to get them, just bottom line. The Secret, the movie, um, 
kind of talks about telling people what you want. What do you want? If you tell the universe what it wants, it will give to you. It will align. The stars will align so you can get what you want. It's, it's the whole genie story that goes back way, way, way back. And uh, your wish is my command. The genie rep is represented in different cultures as different things. And a lot of the times it's the universe. The, the genie represents the universe. So, bottom line is, tell people what you want. Look, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. It's, it's not going to sound as bad as you may think it's going to sound. Okay? I want you to do this. Do it. You know, you don't have to be that way. But look, I would like it. I would really like it be if you do this because it makes me feel good. Because I think it'll be better for our relationship. Because it'll make me uh, do this better or make you do that better. For example, number six. Love, compassion, forgiveness, and appreciation. Okay? Somebody does something good for you? Thank you. Okay? If you don't say thank you, you're going to be like, oh, shoot. It's just a thing. It's a simple one. Not that bad. It's, you know, it's lower on the chain. It's not going to bother you so much. Okay? Um, what's he saying here? You know, tell, just tell people when they do something good for you. You know, I love you. I love you because you're so awesome. Okay, thanks for being a great friend. Okay, this is going to make you feel good, but it's going to make that person's day, and that's just going to make them better at whatever they are to you. Okay, so it's a it, accountability, love, you know, I'll be there. Okay, be accountable. Love people. Show appreciation. Okay, so these are the six things. Um, complete the past to embrace the future. Kind of got off topic there. Kind of got into the present, but it's still good. Get those thing, those nagging thoughts out of your head. Work on these thought, uh, 